What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I want to talk to you about how to become a better producer. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a few tips on how and what you can start doing to be a much better producer than you was yesterday. So first of all, you're going to need practice. Practice makes permanent. Practice, practice, practice. I don't know if you've heard of the, the quote from Malcolm Gladwell, 10,000 hours and you become an expert at what you do. The quote's true, but what he actually said was 10,000 hours of practice and you actually be phenomenal. So tip number one, practice. Get them 10,000 hours in. Tip number two, invest in yourself. That means reading books, watching tutorials. If you don't like to read, watch tutorials and video, watch my videos, watch other producer videos, watch other producers making beats, buy courses on how to market yourself. Investing in yourself means just taking the time to make yourself a better person, better producer and holding your craft. So that ties into practicing. Number three, a bit controversial, controversial, but copy the greats. Look what other people are doing that's, that you aspire to be like and do what, do what they do, copy them. I know some people say be inspired, but don't copy. But at the same time, success leaves clues. So definitely look at what they're doing. Drop a beat into your into your session. Copy the format, copy the sounds, and then that way you can develop your own sound. Do remixes. Do you know what I'm saying that just anything that's going to help you to understand how to to actually be making hits if that's what you want to do. Tip number four. Validate yourself. Don't let other people validate you. If you're looking for outside validation, you're going to struggle because if someone drops a comment on one of your beats that you ain't really feeling or it's not positive, that's going to crush you. And if someone says, oh, your beat's trash, that's going to make you feel like you're, you are trash because you're looking for outside validation. If, you're, if you validate yourself and someone does put a comment up or leaves feedback that you ain't, that ain't, re that you ain't really feeling, then it's not going to bother you, is it really? Because you validated yourself. You're, you're feeling the beat. So that's all that matters. Or you're feeling the music that you've put out. So that's that's all that really matters. So yeah, number four. It's an important one. Validate yourself. Tip number five. For me, this is a big one. Like, I used to do this a lot. But tip number five is do not compare yourself to others. Like I'm guilty of doing that in the past. Like I would make a beat and I listen to someone else's beat. And I think to myself, oh my gosh, like, I need to rethink my actual career. Like, do I really want to be making beats? Because this sounds weak compared to what I'm listening to. But as soon as I stopped doing that, as soon as I stopped comparing myself to others, then everything, everything changed for me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, my mindset changed and how I do things, um, how I approach making beats, how I approach uh, anyone asking me um, for info, advice on how to make beats, how to mix, how to how to market, do you know what I'm saying? That you are your own person, you are unique, do you know what I'm saying? That's your power. So don't ever compare yourself. How you think and how you do things is your own brand. So own it, like own your weirdness. If you're weird, own that, do you know what I'm saying? Because you are you, no one else can copy that. No one else can copy your next move. So be happy in yourself, Be stay unique and stay true to yourself and never compare. So just to quickly recap and then five points. Number one, practice, practice, practice. Remember, you need that 10,000 hours of practice to become phenomenal. Number two, invest in yourself. That's reading, watch, uh, watching tutorials or buying courses, buying equipment. Do you know what I'm saying? Invest in time, buying equipment, learning your plugins, learning theory if you need to. Tip number three, learn from the greats copy from the greats and then apply it to your own way of doing things way of creating number four was to validate yourself don't let no one in build that brick wall do you know what i'm saying so no one if anyone does drop a comment or say something negative on what you're doing and it won't affect you because you could just you're just happy with what you're doing do you know what i'm saying so that won't affect you and tip number five big one don't compare yourself to others do not compare yourself you are you, you're unique, you're special, do you know what I'm saying? So keep doing what you're doing, keep doing your thing and this will help you to become a better producer. They're the five things that's helped me to grow since I've started doing this music thing. 
there's anything that you've done that's helped you to become a, a better producer drop it in your comments because i'm always open to finding new ways to becoming better helping each other grow do you know what i'm saying because that's what it's about each one teach one make sure you hit me up on instagram i oh, i'm always dropping different tips and tricks that i don't always put on youtube and yeah let's connect on instagram if this video has helped you at all leave a like hit the subscribe button you know i appreciate that and yeah appreciate your time thank you for watching music is life peace